Hi, I'm Stephen Foote, a staff software engineer at LinkedIn. You're here because you are preparing for the UI technical phone screen. I'm here because I really want you to do well. This video is meant to show you how to get ready for your phone screen in three easy steps. Is four? Yeah, okay. In just four easy steps. Step one, pre-interview preparation. Step two, finding a good place for your interview. Step three, how to be interviewed. Step four, interviewing your interviewer. All right, let's go. You want to have a great interview. I'm quite certain that is the case or you wouldn't be watching this video. You want to have a great interview even if this is just a practice interview to get you ready for the job you think you really want. Yeah, we know about that. I've watched enough romantic comedies, and I'm not afraid to admit it, to know that the job you really want in the end is sometimes the one you least expected. So, you should prepare well for your interview, even if you think it's a practice interview. Get to know LinkedIn. Oh, LinkedIn was acquired by Microsoft. In 2016. Get to know LinkedIn's products. Wow, LinkedIn Learning looks amazing. Learn about LinkedIn open source projects. Check out the LinkedIn engineering blog. This kind of preparation shows your interviewer that you're serious about the interview and will help you know if LinkedIn is a good fit for you. You should also brush up on web fundamentals and do some practice coding challenges. This is a technical interview after all. Your preparation is done. It's time for your interview. Find a quiet place with no distractions. People walking by in the background are distracting for you and the interviewer, even with background blur. But avoid places where it's hard to hear or be heard. The ideal is in a room with a door. If you don't have a place like that, try your local library. Most libraries have small conference rooms that can be reserved so you won't be disturbed. And once you're inside, the library rules about whispering do not apply. It's like free we work. Being in a good quiet place lets you and your interviewer focus. Oh, and it's a good idea to turn your phone onto airplane mode. Actually, I'm on call. I need to leave this on. Your UI phone screen will consist of four parts. First, introductions. Second, short answer questions. Third, coding challenges. And fourth, your questions for your interviewer. Don't just skip past the introductions. They're important. And don't just read your resume or your LinkedIn profile. Well, I joined LinkedIn in 2012, and before that, I was an assurance staff at Ernst & Young. Yes, I did already read that in your LinkedIn profile. Your introduction is your chance to tell your interviewer how great you are. You've done your homework. You know the LinkedIn products and engineering challenges. Now tell your interviewer how you are ready to meet those challenges. But do keep it brief. We need to get to the rest of the interview. The short answer questions are meant to get you talking about web technologies. This is not a quiz. What is a doc type? Doc type? Um... And please don't use Google. Show your interviewer that you know your stuff. Show them that you can talk shop. Can you have a conversation about CSS specificity? Can you explain the difference between an arrow function and a traditional JavaScript function? Can you admit when you don't know something? This part of the interview should feel like a chat with a colleague. For the coding challenge, you will use CoderPad or a similar technology. Your interviewer will give you the challenge and you will write the code to solve it. Your task is to build a dark mode toggle for your website. 
Ask questions from the very beginning. Even if you just repeat the requirements back to the interviewer, make sure that you understand what is being asked. Yeah, a couple of questions. What is dark mode? Yeah, dark mode. It's the dark theme, easier on the eyes, you know. Okay. And what about the system preference for dark mode? Does the toggle override that as well? Yeah, it should override the system preference as well. While you are writing the code for your solution, talk through your thoughts. Coding challenges are inherently imperfect at evaluating your abilities. The best way for you to show what you know and your problem solving process is to tell your interviewer everything you're thinking. So I'm going to start by creating a checkbox in HTML. I find that checkboxes are the best HTML elements for toggles. Mm -hmm. And now I'm wondering, mm -hmm. what are all of those medals behind you? And now I'm going to attach an event listener to the checkbox that I've created. Well, maybe don't share everything you're thinking, but everything that's related to the coding challenge. You can do well on the coding challenge even if your solution is not completely correct if you share what you're thinking and your approach. And don't be afraid to ask for hints if you're completely stuck. Congratulations, the interview is done. Now it's time to turn the tables. You have a few minutes to ask your interviewer anything you want. You should use this precious time to try to learn what an engineering job at LinkedIn is really like. Please don't ask questions about the interview or the recruiting process. So how did I do in the interview? Oh, good question. I will write up my feedback and I'll send it to the recruiter. What are the next steps? When will I hear back? That's a great question for your recruiter. What is the salary, equity, benefits package for this position? Your recruiter can help answer those questions. Really, please ask your recruiter about all those things. Some good questions are, how are technical disagreements handled at LinkedIn? What is the promotion process like for an engineer? Is it possible to move between teams? or between roles? How often do you have to work on nights and weekends? Is it fun to work at LinkedIn? Yes, yes it is. Interviews are hard and stressful, but I hope you've learned a few things today that will make your interview experience at LinkedIn a little less stressful and a bit more enjoyable. Good luck.